free. Yeah, he's done. Thank you for addressing me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good for you, Cat Junior. Thank you for addressing the board.
that is unacceptable after my child was almost murdered in this school. This email reads, and by the way, Macomb County Sheriffs were sent in that office today. I want y'all to do something about the principal. I want y'all to do something about the teacher. And I did talk to the parents of that child. They were never informed that their child could have been lost too. Because at the end of the day, my child would have went home to a casket. That child would have went to jail. I am furious with the excuses. Boys will be boys? No, that's unacceptable. Today I got a lesson about how there's 17 kids in this new classroom and 17 of them are boys. All of my nephews are boys. My son doesn't have a problem with little boys. He has a problem with his life being choked out. I have FMLA paperwork in my hand from his doctor's office. Do you know I won't have a paycheck on Thursday? Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but whatever day Thursday is because my days are so mixed up from fighting with y'all. My blood pressure is through the roof. I have to be on blood pressure meds now because all of this stuff is not being handled. My baby could have died. I stood up here the last board meeting. I expressed the concern, the fact that I have one ovary because of cancer and my baby could have died. And the, the solution for a victim was somebody from the education well, department. I'm working with Child Protective Services. I'm working with Macomb County Sheriffs. My child, I, my husband got a call on Tuesday yeah, after this board you. meeting. Someone called CPS and tried to say it happened at home. Thank Thank God I am a good mom and I have done everything in my power to protect my baby. Thank you. Good mama. It's not okay. My baby could have died. It's not drama. I was told that they hope that I take the ex and accept the move to Cheyenne, not considering my child's friendships, not considering the PTSD, the trauma, the fact that I now have to ask my baby who could have died at five years old because he turned six four days later. I have to ask him for a hug. My, my sister can sue you guys for the fact that her wedding was ruined because buttoning the top of my baby's shirt caused him to completely melt down, shut off, and be crying for three hours. Read the email. Three hours. Read the email. The email? Don't, Don't worry about the time. You want to hear the email. Let her read the email. Nobody you let her read the email. You let her read the email. Nobody interrupt her. If you got a soul, you let her read the email. Go ahead. You don't have a soul. The email says, Hi, Ms. McGregor. What? I'm sending this email because remind limits the number of words you can send. I'm sorry, your time's up. You can't keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep reading. I certainly did not call Scotty a bully. I simply wanted him to understand that some of his actions, like tackling other kids, picking them up, wrestling on the carpet, taking their belongings, etc., are all examples of things that a bully would do. And he would not like it if someone did that to him. Scotty is a very sweet boy, but he can be impulsive at times. So I am trying to help him work on some ways to think about his actions, to use his words, rather than his hands during a conflict. This was three days after my child had been choked out in her classroom and she did nothing. I want her resigning. I want the I want principal to resign. I want it to be suspended immediately. My response? They need to be okay, they need to be sad. gone. Thank no, you no, How rude are you, man? How rude are you? What are we gonna do to resolve Shame on you, son! What are we gonna do to resolve this problem, sir? She's not leaving until this problem gets resolved today. You're gonna do something. You're gonna address it right now. You can't be mute about this. This is a situation that cannot be muted. What are you gonna do? You stand there, honey, you keep speaking. She told you guys about the any board member that Yeah. All right, let's listen up. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all the athletes. It seems like they had a good program. Um, hold on, hold on. Stay with you. Hey. Hey. I guess I'm going to have to ask. Right. Shh. See a right good thing that when the public hands out handouts for all of us, let the public know that there's seven board members. But if you want to have one to everybody at this board table, it's going to be um, what, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total. 
if you want to give everybody. Thank you. But I have to ask that we get the stuff that they hand out. Yeah. 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 We, instead of having Thank just you. Disappear. Derelict of duty. Okay, put the uh, put a resolution for this. It, what I'm going to do is I will put things in proper written notice for the next meeting, and I would like to have the <laughs> bullying committee and the resolution for discussion, just for discussion, guys, on our next agenda. I will put it in writing as you requested, but I'm going to wait. But that will be discussed with the superintendent and myself. No. 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 If it were your kid, you'd be doing. If it were your kid, you'd be doing the same thing. You'd be doing what she is doing. Hey, you okay? Yes, we are. Yeah, hear you. All right, all I want to say is that students that were here this evening do demonstrate and do um, represent a lot of students that are, are like them, that are being provided a great education and guidance from the staff and the people that they're involved with. Number one. Number two, I'd like to. I, I, I'm sorry about your child. Don't Thank move you. on. We Thank have you a report. We have a report, a very detailed report that we received as board tonight. It sounds very thorough, but I'm really sorry that your child's been traumatized. Um, I wanted to uh, congratulate the Chippewa Valley High School uh, team that. Uh, excuse me, that's part of. This is part of the experiences that students have. There are a lot of students that don't experience the pornography that you say exists in our life. It, it, it does, does exist. exist. It does exist. It's it's here. Here. Read it to your grandchild tonight. Yes, uh, uh, yes. a couple of other notes. One, I'm, I'm sorry Jesus. for the experience that your, that yes. your son had, so it's a, it's a terrible circumstance that we've got to work through. That's uh, Thank you. The other component that I would say is my, my wife was not here last week, so I know there was someone in the that audience who mentioned month. my wife was, you know, laughing at something that was read at last meeting. She was not here, so I don't know what that was in reference to. Um, the other thing is, is that for all the cheering that goes on and all the ideas of we're, we're protecting children, I appreciate that, and I hope that, you know, you all continue your civic, you feel duty. your civic duty yeah. to talk about the books and bring up the explicit material that you, that you feel is right there to, to talk. I, I don't disrespect that at all. What is the challenge I have is that it's the jeering, it's the insults, it's the other things to, to other individuals who are part of other uh, marginalized community. Like like of course, speaking of LGBTQ plus, you know, community. Nobody's you guys disrespecting are, you nobody. Guys no, laugh, no, you guys laugh. No, 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 we're not laughing. There wasn't a laugh. She's talking about time, a fourteen year old girl. Excuse me. They, no, no, excuse me. No, excuse me. We need to let you speak. We 
let you speak with no problem. Okay, but so you're talking about that, but... Can I just... Go ahead, sir. Is that okay? 